So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter. You wanna right click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version four. You wanna make sure that you have obtained the IP address automatically selected and then you wanna select use the following DNS server address. You wanna make the first line 8888 and you wanna make the second line 8844 and then click on okay. See if that works for you. If that does not work for you, then you wanna click on okay. You wanna find your network adapter, you wanna right click on it and then click on diagnose. See if that works for you. If that's still not working for the next method, you wanna take note of your network adapter name. Mine one's called Intel R Pro. Now I'm gonna head over to search and type in device manager, click on it. And now once you're on this, I'm gonna expand network adapters. Now I'm gonna find that same network adapter. It's called Intel R Pro for me. I'm gonna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that you have the best drivers for device installed. And if that's still not working for the next method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, we're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. Now you wanna type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. And then after you do that, you wanna head over to search again and type in network reset. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on reset now and then click on yes. It's now gonna restart your computer automatically in five minutes or you could just restart it yourself and then the problem should be fixed.